Welcome back to Own the World Place Out of the Park Baseball 21. Uh, it is time for the 1880 offseason. We get to move into the next decade. We're coming off five consecutive World Series appearances, alternating wins and losses. We're going to have to start to figure out what we do here because our team is getting old. So. I think at this point what we're going to do is we're going to probably wait till after the draft so there's more available players to to trade because um, everybody's got to be in at least a year before they can get traded so we're going to jump in get to the awards from last season and Think, think, think. Our best glove men. Anybody? Mr. Anson and Holly Hollingshead and Lip Pike. Three. Anson coming off another great season. Led the league in OBP, stolen bases, walks, RBIs. He can lead in pretty much anything at any point in time. And in the prime of his career. Holly Hollingshead. Um above average defensive center fielder but not much else at this point um a replaceable guy if we find the right person lip pike not quite sure why he got one um i guess he's good he doesn't make errors but he can't he has no coverage but he can still play led the league in slugging and triples and hits so he's still a good ball player but 35 that's getting up there I think we're going to start playing with fire on this one. Reliever of the year. This usually is not an... We don't win anything. Yep, we signed Aza Brainerd to be our pitching coach. Reliever of the year, Martin Malone. He was the only one who somehow got votes. Not quite sure how that was picked. Platinum sticks. So over in the... National League, Anson won again, and Pike. So those two guys, um, you can see. We're going to have to go talk to the Centennials again. See if we can figure out what their deal is. Uh, rookie of the year. Yeah, it was not going to be anybody we had. It was the first overall pick, Fred Dunlop. Manager of the year, imagine that. It would be Jimmy Wood. Who has won, what? One, two, three, four, five, six World Series and made the playoffs eight times? I would say that would do it. Cy Young, this one actually could be up for debate. There's a lot of different players who could go to. Jim Britt won in the American League, as usual. Larry Corcoran, huh? Pratt finishing second, though. Huh? Interesting. I mean, he led the league in ERA, and he had 20 wins. Led the league in strikeouts, too. Okay. He was pretty dominant. I, I will give him that. Um, and, he's pro and he is better than Pratt is at this point. I mean, Pratt's 32. Still, still getting it done, but... He did lead the league in game started and win, but nowhere near as dominant as he once was. He's more product of our offense. I mean, this should be Anson. If it's not Anson, again, they went with Ezra Sutton there. Yeah, this is going to be Anson's award now for a while. Although, Fred Dunlap, I think, got close and Pike finished third. Okay. Hall of Fame voting. There's nobody to vote for yet. Um, in the last video, we did talk about some of the people who've retired who might um, be eligible. We'll head to the winter meetings. We'll see if anybody's in a trading mood. So, no, I don't want to look at that. Let's look at this. What do we got? What's tradable? This is the problem. 36, 35... 34. I mean, 
he's useful, but he's not useful. Like, so he's one we ought to shop around. And because we have money, we'll pay for him to go somewhere else. It's a little trick just to get better offers. Um, I mean, because Leonard is still a useful player to somebody. It's just a matter of, can we get anything of value here? I mean, Tom York provides an average outfielder. Not in love with it. John Greeson's a closer. I don't need relief pitchers. They're just not worth it. Frank Buttery. Art Allison, Hollingshead's, he might be a little better than Hollingshead. It might be a worthwhile move. Um, I mean, long term, we need to solve second and at least second. Short is solves because we've got Irwin. Radcliffe is still a functional shortstop. Fred Goldsmith, I mean, that doesn't provide me anything. We should be training Irwin to play a little bit of second. Jim Clinton, he's a younger second baseman. He doesn't really field. Um, and I feel like we already have collected the defensive second left fielder. Not four. It wasn't Triace. See, yeah, we have a defensive left fielder. Um, he's just the better one. Yeah, he got into 40 games, so he's playable. I just don't know what we can get. Um, I mean, the real thing, we need to go find the Centennials and whatever their insanity is. Um, yeah, we want to meet the team. We're not quite sure what they're doing. Um... That's what I want. Their lineup. They insist on playing. Him, and they've got Dan Brothers. This is one of the best hitters we could find. Um, and they're using him as a pitcher. And a pinch hitter. Like, I want that. I mean, I don't want to have to give up Anson at this point. Yeah, I know. We don't, we're not offering anything. I mean, you don't even need that. What do you need? You need, you want outfielders. And huh, I don't know who Lester Dole is. Um, we've collected players. Let's see. I mean... I could consider giving up Radcliffe. Like, that is a tradable player. And now I'm running into that issue. Is the 10 5 rule Devlin? Yeah, I know, I know. I'll give you everything you ever wanted. Anything. Could I give up Pike? I mean, I'd give up Pike. That's a doable part of this. We're getting anywhere close to something. Who else is left? Oh, Andy Leonard. That's right. I'll eat his salary. Um, how much can I offer? We haven't gotten to it yet.
Um, there's still nothing there. You won't part with him, huh? Yeah. There's just nothing to do. I mean, the winter meetings are going to end... And so then it'll be your first year player draft. Okay, let's go into this. First year player draft. 21 players and we're picking 13. Joy. There is there are a couple great pitchers in this one, and well, we might be looking at like Dash or Troy. So the Centennials, will they do something insane like draft another first baseman? No, they get smart. They draft a pitcher, Jack Lynch. Providence. Tony, the Apollo of the Box, Mullane. They draft a pitcher. Smartwood goes to Troy. Troy gets another pitcher. John George Derby goes to the Brown Stockings. Sam Modic Wise goes to the Mutuals. D Cincinnati takes Fred Lewis. Detroit. Jerry Denny. The Athletics. Billy Henry Bollocky Bill Taylor. Wow, is that a name. Hugh Nichol to the Wooster. Buffalo Bisons take Dasher Troy. So at this point, I think we want Martin Powell. Pat Deasley goes there. It's Martin Powell, right? We're picking Martin Powell. Yeah, we're picking Martin Powell. He can't field, but he can hit. So hopefully he can develop some defensive skills. As he apparently can't do much on the diamond. Um, we'll meet his demand. Um, I mean... So with that, that does make... So Arthur Irwin is an elite defensive shortstop. Um, I do want him to learn second base right now. Um, just in case I need a second baseman. Just in case. Oh, I got Farrell. Oh, I don't need it. Okay. Scratch that. We fixed it. Go back to shortstop. Yeah, we solved that problem. Okay, so we've got a second base prospect who is ready-ish. And a shortstop who is ready-ish. So our middle infield could get turned over if we had to. Had to. Um, so I think we do need to go shopping though, now that we're coming out of the draft. I don't need that. Let's go see who the old people are. I mean, Fistler's 36 and still hitting. I think we're going to be riding that out. Leonard... I mean, he, he provides a bat, bat off the bench, but see if there's something better around. I mean, Nat Hicks, can he still catch? I mean, it's a backup catcher. We could go that route. I mean, again, the Tom York route could be interesting. He provides a better option. Um, and Triacy. 
that may be what we need to do. Um, or that may be what we should do, is see if we can trade Tracy for York. Let, let's go see if they'll make that swap. If I pay for him, does that change your mind? Okay. You don't like Tracy that well. Um, <laughs> I think it's the same group of players we've been looking at. I mean, Mike Golden's hanging around. I don't think he adds as much in terms of pitching. I mean, yeah, outside of if, if we want to collect closers. Um, which we don't really need. Dude, Easterbrook, huh? Now that could be a fascinating trade. Because he is playable. No, I don't want to compare him to him. Um, yeah, let's compare him to Devlin. Devlin's the better player-ish. But Easterbrook is a good replacement. You have some insane comparisons. Um, I think that is the move at this point, is to get our first baseman of the future, if they're going to trade him. Um, why are you trading him? That's a bigger question. Do you just want Andy Leonard? Okay. You really need a second baseman. You're willing to give that up. I got it. I mean, would you chuck Old Toss Radborn in? Yeah, I knew you wouldn't. Um, <laughs> it was worth a shot. Does Dick McBride have anything left? I don't think that's a worthwhile move. Um, Frank McCartan is probably the next decent right. I mean, you know, he's not an all-star, but what do you want from McCartan? Yeah, you don't want McCartan. Yeah, we're running out of people. Um, Yeah, I don't think there's much you have to offer. Like you're giving us your best. I mean, you wouldn't give up George Wright. I mean, he's still one of the best shortstops in the game, so you're not going to make that trade. So what can I save on money here? Yeah, you don't want much. Hey, eh? we were actually pretty close, so we'll go that way. We'll throw 198 bucks in there. So, yeah. Yeah, I know you're not happy about that loss, but it's a good deal. You think he's a center fielder? I mean, he can... Actually, that's not bad. He can play a lot of positions. That's a, a good deal. Um, so then let's look at Carlton. I don't think Carlton's... I mean, he's completely replaceable. There's the old... Let's see what we can get. Who wants something? They're giving away people. Oh, that's interesting. Dick McBride. Fred Andrews? Yeah, it's not worthwhile. Um, I mean, let's check out some of these guys, see if there's anything there. But these guys don't pitch enough innings. Like, you can pick up a, an extra arm for next to nothing at any point in time. Steve King at 38. He can't field. He can hit still. I mean, that's just kind of trading nothing for nothing. Um, I mean, it's a backup catcher. Erderson, I mean, gives us something. 
Um, anybody else up in here worth putting on the block? I mean, I think we have to put Tracy up and see if we can get something. See if anybody offers something good. We could get Bechtel back. Hey. Oh, wow. He's just... That's a crash. I think the other part is the league has gotten to be pretty good. Um, so I think that's going to be the big trade we make this offseason. We'll go to the Rule 5 draft. There's probably nobody eligible. I don't think we have anybody eligible. Yeah, we don't. So let's go check out that Rule 5 draft pool. Oh, boy. That's exciting, isn't it? Let's start this. Auto draft until next pick by Chicago. Nobody gets picked. We're going to skip our pick because there is absolutely nothing. Yeah. Yeah, no picks made in nine rounds. I'm glad we had that. And our dude signed. Oh, Martin Powell still hasn't signed. Interesting. Okay. We'll go to the preseason. We'll roll through this. See if there's any changes as we get closer. To the season. Um, oh, well. Team budget got raised. Not that that does anything. There was nobody eligible. Awesome. Cool. He signed. So Martin Powell can probably move up to AAA like everybody else. Um, he still can't hit. But he can pitch. But we've got pitchers. And the same with Good Gardner. He can pitch. The bat's not caught up yet. But we got to keep running those guys out and trying to see if we can develop them. So, yeah, I guess we keep shopping. I mean, there's just not much. Dale Williams got better as a relief pitcher, put Galvin in stamina dropped, current potential, Jim Carlton, yeah, we expected that. Um, I don't know what his is. Anson is declining, his potential dropped. Foreman. I mean, again, we'll shop him around, see if somebody will take him. We are willing to pay for him to go play for somebody else. If we can get a good player in return, or even something, we could bring Bechtel back. Count Sensenderfer. Al Fake. We can bring Bellin back. He's done nothing since he left. Art Allison. And he gives us some defense out there. Got Styers. He can't field anymore. Oh, he, he actually is a playable player, but I don't think it's what we need. We've checked out for Ansel. Mansell. Don't really need Mansell. Um, 
turning it on the center fielders could be interesting. I mean, Sensender for... I mean, we've collected the world of right fielders. I mean, Bechtel was a decent player for us. It provides another bat. Um, question is, is one of these guys a better choice to have another center fielder? My fear is you will play the wrong one. But we've got enough outfielders. But I do feel a little thin and center. I think He's not really, his bat isn't playable. And that's what makes it hard. We're going to have to compare these guys. So, a little more contact out of Bellin. A little more gap. So what are we picking up? And they're basically, Bellin's a better base runner. Allison is the better center field. Let's bring Bellin back. If that's the trade, I think I feel like we may as well make that. Yeah, but what are you going to give us? You want to give me McCartan? I'll take McCartan. You give me Leonard back. I didn't think you'd do something silly like that. You throw our Allison in too, just so I have the choice. What do you want? Yeah, I won't give up that much. I mean, you got anything else that's old that you part with. There's nothing else left. You're giving me your best stuff. I mean, I'll take buttery, but I doubt you're going to agree with that. What do you want? I mean, buttery is a reasonable pitcher. Chuck in there. You want Stockwell? You can have Stockwell. Like that's just... Do you need me to even pay you? I feel like that's a good deal. Um, Because Carlton's not really a valuable player at this point. He's pretty useless. We got Easterbrook. We bring Bellin back. We're able to use basically garbage for garbage. So I think we're in good shape. We've probably got too many relief pitchers now. That's probably going to be our downfall here. Um, but 
we've at least brought in some players, you know, to help around the edges. And I think that's all you can do, especially when we're in this weird keep running it back environment. Um, you know, the draft isn't providing us any talent. Which, I mean, that's hurting us greatly. I mean, we're still predicted out in front, 62 and 34. So that is our best hope, and they still think Anson and Pike, and Hyam and Fissler. Fissler's still being effective, they think, at 36. Whew. So. And they think the Red Caps in the American League have become the class of the league. Okay, player development. Fissler. Yeah, that was going to happen. That's the fear. His, he is going to decline and decline hard this year. Um, thankfully, we have guys who are ready. Um, but that will be fascinating to see how that shakes out. So I think it is the end of Fissler. Yep. Yeah, we should win it all. Player development update. I think Buttery went down. I think Anson got better again. You think he's just the best right now. He is. I mean, top prospects. Do we have anybody on there? Arthur Irwin, yes. He had a very good season last year. Uh, he is a defensive shortstop more than anything else. The bat isn't quite there, but hey, I guess it's nice to have somebody. Uh, so now we have to get this roster down to 25, and it's going to come in the form of these pitchers. Dale Williams, welcome to AAA. Doradine, Pratt, Spalding, Campbell. I think Buttery's a keeper. Cassidy. I mean, it's got to be Pud Galvin at this point. He pitched 14 innings last year. Like, I mean, the fact we have seven is a ridiculous number. So Devlin, Burdock, down goes Daly. Hall? Who's Hall? Jim Hall. We apparently traded for him. He can't hit. Um, yeah, let's see if we can get something for him. I mean, geez, that's pretty bad. Anybody willing to give us anything? Anything. Gat style. Guy who's got power. I mean, yeah, this is where it's hard. There is not much. But, I mean, if we get a guy with a cannon, it might be worthwhile to have. Hellenahan is he's done. If I can't send him now, and we're gonna have to trade him. Um, He's got to get traded. Um, I mean, I only have to get rid of two more. I mean, and I've got 12,000 outfielders. But So Dole can go down. Um, well, yeah, these guys can come down like here. Okay. So, I mean, we get there. We've got a ridiculous amount of players. How did you envision this lineup going? Okay. That's fascinating. So, preseason predictions, the last look at this. They still have us, but they think it's a lot closer. Wow. 
55 and 41. Yeah, I think the fear is Fissler is off the cliff. And Jim Hall, why is he unhappy? Why? Yeah, he'll have to live with himself. Um, because I think we'll be shopping him as we go. I mean, he's given us 19 at bats in two years. I think we will live. So, okay. I think that is where we will end this episode. And we will jump into the season in the next one. Hopefully we can outperform that. That's going to be a tight one. Um, so, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.